Namaste everybody. We're going to do a quick practice, stretch ourselves out, get ourselves feeling good, getting ourselves feeling a little bit more alert, a little bit more calm. So let's just start off by taking the hands into the heart center. We're going to begin just by chanting on once. Bring ourselves into ourselves, affirm the power of the arm, the yes. Uh, affirm the fact that we're here, we're alive, we're breathing, the sun shining, and that despite all the strange things that are happening, is a glorious and beautiful world. So hands into the heart center, inhale. Om. All right, great. So let's begin. Let's inhale. Take the arms out to the sides. Stretch out through the fingers. Exhale, turn the palms up. Inhale, we're going to bring the hands into the heart center. We're going to fly into the heart center. Exhale here, then we're going to inhale, we're going to drop the arms down by our sides. Exhale, just place your fingertips on the mat and gently press them down. Inhale, we're going to reach the right arm up. And then exhale, we're going to reach over to the left side. So really getting a nice stretch out along the side of the body there. Stretch through the fingers, allow the ribs to stretch apart. Lovely. And then inhale, let's come back. Exhale, release. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, let's come over to the side here. And just settling, settling in the pose. Relax the hips, the hip joints, the knees as much as you can. Inhale, let's come to center. Exhale, take the hand down. Now let's inhale, roll the shoulders up. Exhale, take them back and down. And then let's go the other way. Inhale, up. Exhale, forwards and down. Now let's inhale, take the arms out to the sides. Exhale, let's bring the hands into the heart center. Inhale, bind your hands. Exhale, press the palms away from you. Bring your chin in. Allow your back to curve. So you're scooping your belly in a little bit and you're getting a really nice stretch across the top of the shoulders. Now let's inhale, reach the arms up above the head. Exhale, lower the arms down. Wonderful. We're gonna come over onto our hands and knees. So onto your hands and knees, spreading your fingers knees underneath the hips. And we're just going to take a few little rotations around. If you want to put um, a cushion or a blanket underneath your knees, feel free. And then we'll go the other way. So just making sure that you go both directions, big circles, lovely. And then we're gonna come back to center. We're gonna stretch the right leg out behind us. So get that leg nice and strong and straight. We're going to work the right heel down towards the floor. Push your hands into the mat, broaden the shoulders. And then from here, we can just lift the left knee off the floor. So the left foot can stay down, the knee above, uh, above the ground. Just taking a few breaths here. So we begin to contact the belly a little bit, stomach muscles, lowering back down. Then we're gonna take the left leg out behind us, same thing. So the heel is moving down towards the floor. You push the floor away, lots of space. Take a few breaths and then let's lift the knee up off the floor, right knee. Take a few breaths here. All right, now you can go straight up into downward dog from here, or you might prefer to come onto all fours first, and then into downward dog. Let's take a few breaths, thinking about stretching this spine out. So, so this is a short practice just designed to give your body a decent long stretch. So here you get lots of opportunity to really allow the spine, the vertebra, the disc to stretch out. You might want to take your hips from side to side a little bit. 
And of course, your the backs of your legs and your hamstrings working your heels down towards the floor. All right, now we're going to inhale. We're going to reach the right leg up behind us and then exhale. We're going to bend the knee in, take it and just hover for a moment here. Again, strengthening the arms and the stomach, the core muscles. Now, as you take your next exhale, we're going to bring the right knee again, this time just behind the right hand. We're going to go into a half pigeon pose. So you want to press your left foot, the top of your left foot, press it down into the floor. You can take your um, hands onto your fingertips, roll the shoulders back, roll them back, lift the chest, look up. Push that foot down into the floor, open the heart center, and then exhale, we're gonna walk our hands down onto the mat. It may be that you don't come down very far, see how it feels. Make sure your knee feels all right, that there's no pulling. If it's uncomfortable, adjust so it feels okay. Take a few breaths. Some of you might wanna come all the way down, relax the head, relax the neck, take a few breaths in this position. So the front of it, just to show you if, you, uh, if you're not quite sure, so I've got my right leg bent here, is to, is to, would look like this. Okay, so that right knee is bent in. Those of you who've got quite a lot of opening in the hips, you can bring that foot forward towards the front of the mat. Most of us will have it tucked back a little bit, but you can certainly work towards bringing it out. It's a good stretch, it's a strong stretch. All right, so once you've had a few breaths here, you're gonna lift yourself up, and this bit is it optional. So you, if you want to come out, feel free, feel free to come out, otherwise you're gonna bend your back knee and you can take hold of the foot. When you take hold of that foot, drop that left hip down again and just feel a good stretch, and it will be a good stretch, on the front of the thigh there, the front of the left thigh. Now you can stay here for a few breaths as so, or if you want to, you can have a go at the balance. Taking the right arm up, you could take the thumb and first finger together, lift the chest, lift the heart, and move into a little version of your pigeon pose. All right, lovely. Now exhale, gently release. Place your hands down onto the floor. Again, I'm gonna to turn to face this way just so you can see what I'm doing properly. So we're gonna bring the back leg in. So you see where my knee's bent here. The back leg is gonna come in and the knee is going to tuck just behind the bent leg there. And your feet are either side of me. Now, some of you, this may be a little bit too strong. And if it is, then you're going to straighten out your lower leg. It's going to come to here. If that's too much, then just take both legs out for now. All right. You, the other way of doing this is to place a block underneath your bottom. Okay. So once you've got here, your knees are stacked. I want you to hold on to your feet. Again, keep the shoulders back and gaze at your nose, the tip of your nose. And breathe, long inhale, long exhale. Now you can place a little bit of pressure. So you're, you're, you're holding your feet, your thumbs can just be in the center of the foot. And you could give a little bit of a massage there to the soft part, just below the pads. Um, underneath the balls of the feet, say so in the center there. Give yourself a little self uh, reflexology. Relax the face, soft smile. So again, it's a good hip opener. All right, lovely. And then from here, we're going to place the right foot so it's flat on the floor now and we're going to go into a little bit of a twist so the left elbow is going to come onto the outside edge of the left knee and we're going to twist around so this is a, a version of matsyandrasana the twist That's it, good. Press your feet down into the floor. Press the um, sole of the right foot into the floor. 
Keep the breath steady. All right, lovely. And then we're going to come back to center, take the hands behind us, and we're going to work backwards. So we're going to open the legs out, take the right leg underneath, the left leg on top. So the left foot is flat on the floor, the right is on its uh, side, your buttocks are are nicely um, placed on the mat. Go to the twist, so right elbow onto the outside of the left leg. Lift up again, turn, gaze over the left shoulder. Let your gaze be steady. Breathe into the spine. You're getting a nice twist which means that you're giving your organs a nice massage, liver, kidneys, stomach, spleen, helping with the detoxifying. It's one of the things that they say about twists, that they're good for getting rid of impurities. But as I say, we're working with the liver and the kidneys here, and that's their function, of course. Breathe slowly and carefully, lovely. And then you're gonna come back to center. You're gonna bring the right foot, so sorry, left foot, so it's on its side. You're gonna have your hands uh, on your feet again. Drop the shoulders, gaze at the tip of the nose. So this is the bottom half of Gurmukhasana, cow pose. All right, good. And then we're just gonna come forwards. So your left leg is gonna be at the front and your right leg is stretched out behind you. So again, you're coming back into Rajapatasana, the pigeon pose. So again, once you've got there, fingertips on the floor, inhale, lift up, and exhale, you're gonna lower yourself down. I'm gonna place myself back along the mat. That's it. Long breath, long in breath, long out breath. Feel those muscles gently releasing, gently releasing with the breath. So the longer you're able to stay in poses, particularly these kind of poses, the better in terms of really getting deep, really being able to let go, breathe some space. But just the amount of time we're doing it is enough to, you know, release and give yourself a little bit of refreshing, <laughs> revitalizing. All right, good. Then we're going to lift yourself up. We're going to bend the right knee. You're going to take hold of your right foot. And again, so over the top if you can. And then that elbow is bent. You're going to sink down a little bit. Find your balance, so you can use your core muscles. You need to really um, allow your front knee and your um, left hips, and this side, left hip and left knee, to take the weight. Lift and gaze up towards the sky. Keep breathing, keep smiling. Wonderful, releasing down, hands down, tuck your back toes under, let's head back into dog pose. And just take your hips from side to side. All right, good. Now we're going to look forward. We're going to either jump or step to the front of the mat to sitting. So you can just cross the feet, roll back. You're going to take your legs nice and wide. You're going to flex your feet. Lovely, take the um, sitting bones back a little bit, the flesh of the sitting bones, flesh of the buttocks. And then we're going to inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, we're gonna come forwards. You'll probably feel a decent stretch as you start to come down. 
take your hands onto your ankles, onto your thighs, whatever you reach, maybe onto your big toes. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, just letting yourself move down a little bit if you can. Wherever you are, just let the breath take you. We're going to inhale, we're going to bring the legs in, we're going to take the big toes with the fingers, going to hold onto your big toes, find your balance, we're going to open the legs out to the sides, drop the, the um, shoulders, gaze up towards the sky, and if, you, if this is difficult, you can bend your knees, come to here, that's absolutely fine, or you can take hold of your legs rather than your big toes. And then looking up towards the sky. See if you can relax in this position. Wonderful. And then exhale, bringing your legs in, wrapping your arms around your bent knees, bring your head in towards you. Squeeze into the cosmic egg pose. And then from here, we're just going to bring the feet down onto the floor, take the hands down behind you, roll yourself back and let your feet come down onto the floor. Lower your legs, take your arms down by your sides, turn your head from side to side, and allow your body to settle down into Shavasana. Into Shavasana. And as you Allow yourself to settle here. Scan your body, see if there's any areas that feel tight or tense. If you need to move them at all to release, go ahead. Or it might be that you just want to settle there and settle your awareness with your breath there. Imagine your breath could really release any tightness, any trauma, anything that's held, anything that you don't need. Use your breath to inject its pran, its life force, its healing capabilities into your body. Let your shoulders release. Your skin become really soft. Nothing to worry about in this moment. Right now, all is well. You are perfect as you are. You are exactly as you were meant and designed to be. Alright, good. And then we'll start to move the fingers, the toes, maybe bring the knees in. Have a little bit of a rock. Carefully bring yourself back up to sitting. Hands at the heart. Oh. 
Shanti, 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 peace, peace, peace. Well done. If you like the videos, do subscribe, leave comments. See you later.